All right, and hey there, Project Gaming crew, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Rumble Blast Let's Play. And if you guys missed out during the last episode, we have finally opened up our way to the Path of Heroes, which then that was kind of leading us here to the World Axle, which we are now going to be going and taking care of 4-4, the Fallaway Edge, known over here, uh, which is going to be our very first area to go and conquer, is going to be the Fallaway Battlefield. Now, this one is going to be another one of these type of charge flag type of plus uh, areas that we kind of have to go and worry about. Uh, now, so far, we've already been kind of... Uh, uh, acing through most of them but this one is actually going to be a little bit more of a challenge because we actually do need to have at least around 22,000 type of attack power for all of our guys in total uh, for us to go and hopefully try to accomplish this so hopefully this time around I did add in some new type of friends as well we do actually have like with camera up now which I already went and grabbed and uh, I think I also have like Monferno and a few other type of Pokemon so I think by now we should at least hopefully be okay for what this charge uh, type of one actually has to be so let's go and check this out here so this is the way to the world axle so we're almost getting close to it so with all that being said in mind let's go and finally head on over here uh to the high dragon battle so you'll never win you can't compete against my force of total power of 22,000. well i think we can because i think i hopefully managed to reach on out out here yeah so we got ourselves 22,000. And let's go and finally ace on through this. We should be able to hopefully at least go and conquer out with the first one, which that, of course, is going to be with Dino, so not bad at all. All right, now here comes up the next one. It's going to be with Zelowis. So we need to max this out, hopefully, and let's do it, please. Yes, and that's already done as well, too. Now, it seems like uh, Ascavalier has made his return back from the Fort Caboleon that we already went to from the last time. All right, just maxing that out. All right, good job. Now it's time to knock out the next one, which that is going to be with Excel Gore, which I'm not a big fan of this guy anymore. Well, this guy is going to be really powerful, but at least we got ourselves with the victory out here. All right, nice. Now I think all that we have left is that High Dragon. All right, here we go, the Brutal Pokemon. All right, here we go, let's press that A button. And there we go, and we have finally succeeded. Woohoo! We already went and got ourselves that W. So good job, Primate, and the rest of all of our other Pokemon on our team. You did fantastic out here. Now, did we unlock any type of new rewards or anything? I don't think so. I think all that we got is just another way to another type of uh, team battle or something that's going to be happening up around up in here. And let's go and do it. Now, uh, also, too, just to let you guys know that there is going to be a brand new co-op collab series that me and my friend Kevin are going to be doing. And uh, I guess you guys will kind of find out about what is happening with Rayman Legends. I know that I did tell you guys that there was going to be some Rayman Legends type of content coming back. But there has been a little bit of some changes as well, too. So hopefully you guys can understand about Rayman Legends and everything that has been going on. But Mario 3D World is going to be something that I'm very looking forward to and uh, stay with my friend Kevin and uh, it's gonna be a very fun time I think um, so let's go and see what we got so we'll probably bring out Magmar because I think Magmar would probably be a good Pokemon suited out here and uh, Steelix probably not but we could go probably for Mr. Mime all right we'll bring out Mr. Mime and also with Magmar and also with Primeape so hopefully everything is gonna be fine out here for this team battle so let's go and jump on into this now I am gonna try to do some back-to-back type of videos out here for my post recording for Pokemon Rumble Blast so uh, hopefully I can at least try to manage out throughout here we should at least be somewhat fine if uh, if that is gonna be happening out here for this episode so far we already went and knocked out our next type of charge battle so we're happy about that oh here we go now I think this should be easy picking for all of our guys out here because we do have a lot of fighting type Pokemon or well not really fighting type Pokemon but fighting type moves on our Pokemon okay now this is just starting to get really out of hand right now guys <laughs> I don't like the fact that with that sandstorm that's going on, but there we go. Finally, got rid of all those guys out here, so let's make sure that we pick up on all of these just so that we can get our stack attack all up and ready for when the next battle happens. All right, all right, here we go. Not bad, not bad. Knock out all these sand slashes, please, because we don't want them to be uh, trying to go for any type of slashing attack as well. All right, here we go. It's battle time. What? What the heck is going on, man? I thought we were trying to... Uh, literally use our stack power up here but unfortunately this man was already kind of blocking everything already to begin with holy okay <laughs> that's a little bit too close for comfort there guys but hope we can at least knock out the steelix please we're almost there all right there we go and now everybody's gone phew 
Okay, so far so good. Have to watch out for those annoying, uh, annoying type of poison arrows there, because we don't want to get ourselves uh, status effect at all. All right, here we go. Got ourselves some with some wish caches. Hey, another one of my favorite type of Pokemon. Okay, but here we go. Uh, sorry, buddy, wish cash. Or I should say Namazu. Oh man. Okay, so now we got ourselves with a Seismitoad out here. Seems like everything is going by pretty quickly now. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, please. We're almost there. Oh. Just don't want him to uh, try and do anything else. Ugh. Oh no, yeah, he was gonna go for that annoying, uh, annoying AOE type of effect there, but not today, because we got ourselves another stack power. There we go, and let's do it again. Now, uh, it seems like we got ourselves with some Lucarios out here, but even though that we can't really go and uh, grab these guys as toy Pokemon at the moment. Uh, hopefully we can at least go and find them, hopefully, in, a, in another area at some point, because I wouldn't mind having a Lucario. There we go. Come on. Just get that Lucario finished and done with here. Wow, this one's gonna probably be taking a little bit. Oh, wow, we actually got ourselves with some type of fire damage going on, but hey! We got ourselves with Haxorus. Oh, man, it kind of brings back some Poke Park 2 type of vibes all over again, so I'm giving everything that I got. Now, this could be very scary out here, though. Uh, hopefully, I just don't get myself a game over at all whatsoever. Because <laughs> one problem like that... Oh, no, we actually got a bird. Nice. All right, and here we go, guys. I think I'm almost about to knock out Haxorus. Yes. All right. And this time around, I'm actually playing as Mr. Mime instead of Primeape. So, that actually worked out a lot better in our favor this time around. So, very happy about that. Now let's go and finally move on over to the next part, and let's see what is going to happen now, huh? So now with that out of the way, hopefully we don't got any more other type of or other or any other type of charge play type of plus battles yet going on. Uh, we should probably go and get ourselves healed up, but just before we go and start moving much any further, I think we are going to probably get ourselves into maybe, I want to say, into a Kabolion uh, type of fight. But I think for right now, uh, we'll just end off this episode here for the time being, and I'll meet you guys back in the next episode from when we go and continue onwards with our next type of destination uh, through our time in 4-4. So I'll see you guys then, and of course, peace!